Controversial Indian Islamic preacher Zakir Naik has apologized for what he called a misunderstanding of his recent remarks, but also said his remarks had been taken out of context. Malaysian police are investigating him for intentional insult with intent to provoke a breach of peace after he made remarks against Hindus and Chinese in Malaysia in a speech this month. Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad has called Zakir Naik's remarks a political move. Now for more, we cross over to our correspondent, Melissa Go in Kuala Lumpur. Mel, he says his remarks were taken out of context and has brushed this off as a misunderstanding. Is that true, though? You know, it depends who you speak with. You know, while some in the Muslim community, they have welcomed his apology, others are saying that it's just too little, too late. Now, he isn't sincere, they said. Hey, he made those insulting comments, labeling Chinese as guests in their own country, insinuating that the Hindus in Malaysia showed more allegiance to Indian government than their own Malaysian government are uncalled for. And he made those comments almost two weeks ago, early August, in the state of Kelantan. And he showed no remorse then. Only now that he's being probed by the police, he's offering his heartfelt apology. And also, you know, he said that he's sorry that he was being misunderstood. But he isn't sorry for what he had said. Well, in any case, he's such a divisive figure. Um, he has stirred up racial feelings, like Prime Minister Dr. Mahathe Mohamad has said. Um, he has crossed the line as the permanent resident of PR. He isn't supposed to dabble in politics. Now, hundreds of police reports were lodged against him, even after his apology. Seven states, we know, have already banned him from speaking publicly. And now Malaysian police have advised organizers to cancel all Zakil Naik speaking engagements. So it doesn't seem that... Zakil, it does seem that Zakil Naik himself is wearing out his welcome here in Malaysia and more and more Malaysians are calling for his status, PR status, to be stripped regardless whether he's misunderstood or not. His combative style of propagating Islam, it has raised a lot of tensions, a lot of concerns and fear in Malaysia, especially when race and religion are always sensitive issues. And now, now, given the pressure that you're describing that is mounting for authorities to deport the controversial preacher back to India, is this likely to happen? Well, the Prime Minister, Dr. Made, said that as a PR, he should observe the country's rules and regulations. Now, Malaysia, he said, is a country that respects the rule of law. So if Zakir Nai has breached the country's laws, then actions will be taken against him. And that includes revoking his PR status. Now, as to where he wants to go next is entirely up to him. The police are still investigating. They have taken statements from him after almost 10 hour long session at Bukit Aman, the police headquarters last night. It's unclear his explanation whether it's going to be enough. The police has ordered all the contingents, all the state police chiefs to advise organizers to cancel uh, his speaking engagements as a matter of national security, they said. This is to prevent the controversy from further sparking, um, you know, racial tensions in the country. Now, Zakir Naik, however, is unfazed. His lawyer, I just spoke with him, he said that they will continue to take legal action against those that are twisting his words, including against the ministers for defamation. Now, what's going to happen next? A lot depends on what he does next. See, Glenda? All right, man, thanks for that. Minutes ago, speaking to us from, from KL.